A U.S. citizen who allegedly refused to quarantine and instead went on a pub crawl in a Bavarian town, sparking a COVID-19 outbreak, has been named as a 26-year-old Florida woman who thanked her co-workers for going to her Rona party, according to a report. Yasmin Adley, who works at a hotel resort for U.S. forces stationed in Germany, had been awaiting test results after a jaunt to Greece when she partied in Garmisch-Partenkirchen, although she already had a sore throat, the Daily Mail reported. She allegedly texted several of her co-workers who had partied with her for several nights before receiving her positive result, according to the news outlet, which published a screenshot of a message in which she thanked them for showing up at her Rona party. I didn't know I had the Rona when we went out, the alleged super spreader wrote, according to the report. After being tested September 8, she was directed to quarantine until the results were available, but allegedly flouted those instructions and went out that evening, according to the report. Two dozen people at her workplace, the Edelweiss Lodge Recreation Center for U.S. Armed Forces, have tested positive, Garmisch Partenkirchen District Administrator's Office Press Officer Stefan Scharf has told CNN. The town itself saw a spike in cases, he said. More than 700 people also have been exposed to the virus because of her partying, the Daily Mail reported. The resort has since been shuttered for two weeks. A former lodge worker claimed Adley remained working there before she tested positive, and even set up a conference for top U.S. military officials about preventing the spread of the deadly bug, the outlet reported. But the former staffer also blamed the resort, which allegedly encouraged a culture of concealment that overlooked flouting of the quarantine protocols, according to the outlet. A source told the Daily Mail that even after the resort posted a statement on Facebook about the staff infections, guests were still allowed to check in and not informed about the outbreak. The source claimed the guests were just told they would have to check out again a couple of days later. I self-evacuated earlier this year when the COVID crisis inside the hotel became untenable because there is not a strategy in place to protect the employees, but instead give the appearance that all is well and the hotel is operating normally," the source told the Daily Mail. This culture of concealment is how this super-spreader event was allowed to occur, and why so many employees who live and work inside the hotel are now COVID positive. The former employee accused management of being criminally negligent throughout the pandemic, and to have fostered the dangerous culture which enables their employees to remain unconcerned about the ramifications of this virus.